Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for this video because I'm really excited to try this product that I'm gonna feature in this video. As you guys know, Kim Kardashian West launched her own beauty line, KKW Beauty, and I was so fortunate enough to be amongst a very select few of people that actually were invited to Kim's home and to preview the line before it even launched. And when I tell you guys, the experience was so awesome. We were actually in her home in Bel Air and I loved the way that they did it. They set everything up almost to look like some type of art gallery, which was super, super cool. I got gifted at the party the products. They're all right in here. It looks like this. So for today's makeup, it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm not gonna do too much. I just kinda wanna focus on like skin and just really seeing how these babies perform. So if we're breaking down the actual packaging and just strictly talking about the packaging, I love this shade. As you guys know, I love anything nude. I think the shade is great. Um, I like the idea of it being in a bag, um, but I mean, it's pretty standard. It's just a plastic bag. It says KKW Beauty in the front. So you just open it like that. Um, in the back, it just has like an ingredients list. It comes like so you open it and inside you have the contour stick and you have the highlighting stick and this is what the brush looks like it's sitting in this plastic container i will say that when i saw the brush online and in photos on instagram i thought the brush was going to be a lot bigger than what it actually was it's actually a lot smaller i'm hoping that it'll really buff out the product really beautifully so let's get to it I'm gonna start off with really, really basic skincare. I'm just gonna use this Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum. I'm also gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus on my skin. It has that glycerin, so it's just gonna make everything kind of adhere to my skin a little bit better. I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. You guys already know the drill. RCMA cream foundation. I promise you guys, I'm gonna start using different foundations in videos, I promise. With this specific video, I told myself that I was gonna use a different foundation, but when all was said and done, and I thought about the video, being that these are cream contour and highlighting sticks, I felt like I wanted to do a cream base like this because I just felt like the overall finish and look of the makeup would just be a lot more cohesive and just look so much dewier and better, so. Had to whip this baby out. So now that I have my foundation on, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus over my foundation and go back in with this beauty blender and just kind of press it into my skin. So there's two sides on the contour stick. This side right here is a little bit lighter as you guys can see, and this side is slightly darker. So this is the highlighting stick. One side is matte, which is on this side, and the other side does have a little bit more of kind of like a shimmery vibe to it. I'm gonna swatch this on my hand first. <gasps> it broke. Ah! Okay, we're gonna get it together. All right, we're just gonna make it work, people. Sometimes you gotta make it work. So I'm just gonna take the little piece and swatch it. It feels really creamy, honestly, like right off the bat. It looks like that. I definitely think that it's really, really light for me. Again, this is the medium um, highlight stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium underneath my eyes first, and then I'm gonna layer this on top. And I'm just gonna have to scrape a little off and warm it up on my hand and then apply it. So that is just my foundation and my shape tape. I'm gonna take this little baby. So I literally just placed it on a cap that I had laying on my makeup table. So I'm just gonna pick it up with my brush and I'm going to place this under my eyes where normally I like my brighter highlightingness to be. So I'm gonna take my beauty, no, I'm not gonna take my beauty blender. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna dampen this side really quickly. Okay, so my sponge tip is damp now. Again, as you guys just saw, I naturally just wanna grab my beauty blender, but I'm gonna give this a fair shot and see what it does for me as far as blending this out. So I'm just kind of stippling under my eye. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that product with my brush. I just feel like we're such creatures of habit, you know what I mean? Like I never wanna really break away too much from the things that I, I absolutely love because I just know that they're just gonna perform. 
uh and this isn't that bad honestly you guys it's really not as bad as i thought that it would be um for myself personally this is just too much work because it's just so small so again for me i would maybe just throw this in my bag keep it as like something that i can just like quickly touch up with like when i'm on the go I just feel like it's just way too much work for me because with my beauty blender, I know that I can just cover so much more space. That being said, I'm gonna switch it out for my beauty blender. And I feel because since my beauty blender is a little bit bigger and spongier, it just really allows that product to smooth out so much better. All right, I'm definitely not mad at how it actually looks though. Like the way that the product actually looks and blends on the skin, like it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look uneven. I feel like it definitely brightened my face. I've tried other like highlighting sticks that maybe just get too, they're just too thick, they just don't look good, but dead serious, this looks really nice. It looks really nice and smooth. It moves really good guys and Sometimes what I notice with product is while I'm working on one eye, sometimes the product dries down a little too fast. By the time you get to blending the other side, it doesn't move the way that you want it to. As you guys saw, I kind of took my time blending this out. And by the time I got to this side of my eye, uh, this side of my face, sorry, um, it still blended really beautifully. And as you guys can see on camera, it still looks really, really nice and smooth and even. There's no blotchiness, there's no streakiness. So that's a really nice observation, which tells me that the formula is actually a really great formula. I'm definitely not mad at this at all. All right, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of highlight on the center of my forehead. I'm also just gonna take a little bit slightly down the bridge of my nose. Just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna go, gonna go in with my beauty blender, buff this out. I really hope that in the future they sell these individually and not just in a kit. I think that that would be really cool. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the highlight just right in here where I kind of feel like it sheared out a little too much for me. Just, just a tiny bit. I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna use the darker side first. I'm just gonna lay out my contour where I want it. Boom, 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 up here. I always contour this forehead honey and then with the lighter side i'm just gonna slightly lightly lightly contour this nose really 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 softly okay so again i would normally naturally gravitate towards blending this out with a beauty blender but i'm gonna give this little buffing brush a shot okay so i'm gonna just buff this so let me tell you why I personally don't like to buff cream contours out. The reason why is because I find that with this type of brush, if I'm buffing out my cream contour, I'm moving around all of the foundation underneath it. It's kind of moving around and I can see the separation from my foundation to my highlight to the contour. That's why I normally like to just use a beauty blender because I'm not buffing something around. I'm just kind of stippling and building and kind of like spreading it out as opposed to like literally physically moving something with a brush. So I'm gonna just do half of my face with this brush and then I wanna do the other half with my beauty blender and then we can figure out together what we like better. I'm gonna go in with the bottom of my beauty blender. And I feel like with the beauty blender, it just looks better and like even placement wise, it just kind of stays in the same place. It's not like moving around. Like I definitely, definitely feel like with this, with buffing it, it kind of came down a little bit more. With this on this side, it kind of just stays more in one general area. Okay, so let's chit chat. I'm gonna get a little closer because I really want you guys to kind of hear me out and feel me out. I think the actual product itself is good. It blended out, it looks good. It's not looking cakey, it's not looking heavy. It's not looking like it's clogging my pores. It looks smooth, it blends nicely. What my issue is, is this tool. I don't, I personally don't like this tool. I personally wouldn't use this tool. Like I explained to you guys with um, the sponge side, it's just too small, it's a little too stiff, it's not as spongy as I would like it to be. Like I said with this side, it's buffing everything out, but it's moving everything underneath and everything that's at the top and the bottom. So it's only kind of working where I'm placing it. So if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can kind of see it on camera, the way that this looks compared to this side, which I use the beauty blender on. If you guys ask me, I think that this side that I use the beauty blender um, with looks a thousand times better than this side. Um, I just think it just looks more smooth. 
everything just flows and blends better. Again, the actual product itself though, I think is good. I think that the product is blending great. It looks good. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy. I think the product itself is actually really good. I wish there was a little bit more product in there. Kim, Kimmy, just a little bit more. I'm gonna fix this side. I'm just gonna kind of go in with my beauty blender. Okay, I feel so much better. I kind of finished blending everything together with my beauty blender. Naturally, what I would do is I would set my under eyes and then I would set the cream contour with some type of bronzer. So I'm gonna do that really, really quickly. I am gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder under my eyes, as I always do. Okay, after setting the product with my favorite powder, I can tell you that still it looks really, really great. It looks nice and smooth. I've noticed that sometimes with other products that I don't really like, when I go and I set it with something, it kind of gets all funky, but like this is still looking really, really great. And to set my bronzer really lightly, I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Okay, so I basically set everything, and again, I'm still really happy with how everything looks. The last thing that I actually do wanna try on camera for you guys, though, is the highlighting stick, this baby right here. I'm swatching it on my hand first. I'm not gonna lie, in this stick, it looked a lot darker than what it actually looks like swatched. It actually is a very, very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm just gonna kind of warm some up on my skin and then take a beauty blender and just kind of stipple it on. So I'm just gonna take this on where I normally would highlight my face. Ooh, so pretty. Kind of pick up a little bit more. I'm trying to be so soft and gentle because I'm a little scared. This is very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. You go, Kim. Just really quickly before I forget, another observation that I had is, like I told you guys in the beginning, I wasn't sure if medium was gonna be dark enough. It was, and I feel like the general feedback that I've heard from other people and just kind of my experience right now is that the colors are pretty on point. I didn't have to use the dark kit to kind of get more depth as I thought that I might have possibly could have. So that's good. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight right in here. You guys know I love my little highlight above my brow. And lastly, just gonna add a little bit on the tip of my nose. And a little down the bridge too. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the KKW Beauty Contour Kit. Now, the retail price for the contour kit is $48. And again, that includes the contour stick, the highlight stick, and the tool, which is the double-ended brush. For $48, I would have liked a little bit more product. I think that the amount of product that's in here is very, very, very little. As a business person myself, I can understand how a $48 price tag on three items can kind of seem justified, and I can see that. However, me personally, this was a big no for me. So I personally would just purchase these by themselves. I think that obviously having the tool in there is gonna up the price on the kit, but um, if for whatever reason they ended up selling these alone, I think that that would probably be a lot more of a reasonable price. The product itself, like the actual formula, the consistency, the shades, the way that it performed, the way that it looked, I thought it was great. I think that she did a really great job, which I was pretty sure that the actual product itself had to be good. I mean, her makeup artist, Mario, is amazing. She works with some of the top makeup artists in the industry, you know, so I definitely think that she was probably going to, you know, get their feedback and have them try it and use it on her and have these people give her their honest feedback. And I had seen a couple of snaps with her with some product in Mario, so I kind of thought that that was what was going on. So for me, the actual product itself is great. The actual product itself is amazing. I would definitely use these again. Again, as a kit, $48. Mm, if you could buy these by themselves, I would definitely do that. I love how it looks. I was pleasantly surprised with the more shimmery side. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks soft. I feel like I could pop on some lashes and the lip and head out the door, which is what I'm gonna do. But yeah, that's my honest review on this KKW Beauty Contour Kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Before you guys leave, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not already, make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.